Jim and Melody Island take us through some early shows produced at QTQ. Next, in our celebration of 25 years of television. Well, we've had a look at some of the early overseas shows on television, but uh, of course there was a lot of uh, home homegrown or home produced shows too uh, on uh, Australian television and uh, here at Channel 9 we certainly uh, uh, felt our way and uh, we came up with some what we feel now uh, were some pretty good productions for those days anyway and uh, to tell you more about that uh, a lady who joined us in 1959 and uh, went on to become the first female television newsreader in Australia in 1961 my wife Melody Thanks, Jim. Yes, those early attempts were very much a learning process for all of us, but nevertheless, looking back at some of them, 25 years later, we didn't do a bad job, really. Now, this vintage piece of variety television we produced here at QTQ starred the husband and wife team, Judd and Jeannie Lane. The Judd Lane Show. With the Take Five dancers, the Cornets, Wilbur Kentwell, and our stars, Jeannie and Judd Lane. Hi, and welcome to Take Five. Our first ballet was called Dude Ranch, and it was a fun dance, and I think it doesn't need any further ex explanation at all. Male, female, and mixed vocal groups have always been popular, both in the recording field and in live entertainment, but today, through the medium of hit parade discs, the vocal group has forged ahead of the rest of the field. To gain recognition today, a group must have a gimmick. The Cordettes have a gimmick. Purity of sound, vocal ranges of unusual elasticity, and a great knowledge of their art puts them in the forward ranks of Australia's vocal groups. The greatest name in contemporary jazz is Dave Brubeck, both as composer and performer. As a composer, he has been singularly noted for his almost undanceable music. Firstly, with our signature tune, 
Take five. Then the fabulous Unsquare dance. And perhaps the most difficult of all his compositions to dance to, with its gamut of time signatures, Blue Rondo a la Turc. <laughs> Tremendous days, all right. I mean, that Rita and Mary. And Angie, Angie Nicolades, and Thea, Thea Dillon. And mm. uh, Rita and, and um, Mary, Mary Schneider. Schneider. And they all worked here, of course, mm. didn't they? Mm. Um, I remember uh, Mary and uh, Rita, I think, worked in production areas, and uh, the others worked in other departments. We all used to do, you doubled up, you know, in the very early days. I used to sweep the studio sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> but. Uh, you know, they call childhood the, the, the happiest days of our lives, and I, I guess that's what we're aiming for in our, as the main theme of our television children's shows. One of the earliest of Channel 9's uh, children's programs was produced by Lester Foxcroft. It was called The Youth Show. It was hosted by a number of young ladies, including uh, a very youthful Donna Meeklejohn. But the hostess on this particular segment you're about to see is Yvonne Morrison. The Bush Night Song. Till Eastern fire shall stain Grey and gold the trackless plain Till the bellbird wakes again Day shall be Slumber till the night is dark Dream of goals that shall be won With the rising of the sun Sleep, sleep, oh, sleep Again, it's the end of another youth show, so it's good night from Nolene Daly, our pianist, and Trevor Terry Fitzgerald, our drummer. Oh, it looks like I'm wanted over here. Stay with us for more of the early QTQ shows coming up next.